Hello everyone. My name's Mrs Jones and I'm a head of psychology at Gordano School. You might be wondering what psychology is. Well, psychology is basically the scientific study of human behaviour. So why you behave the way you do. Now each one of us is completely different. But the question is, what kind of similarities do we have between each other? And that's what the course is all about. Now then, just looking at these two pictures, which is more attractive, the one on the left or the one on the right? An important thing you're probably thinking about is, well, what is the course like? Well, you'll study two different units in psychology and each of those units has got four different topic areas which study all the different types of psychology. Each unit is worth 50% of the marks, so you'll get two different exams. Each exam lasts about an hour and 45 minutes and the maximum number of marks that you would be asked to um, answer is 100. The exam is mostly made up of short questions and multiple choice questions. Okay then, well, there's two different types of units in the psychology course. Um, each unit has got four separate topics in. The topics in the first unit are memory, perception, development and research methods. Now, memory looks at why we remember things, why we forget things, why it is that we might spend ages and ages going through things, but we can't actually remember it, even though we've repeated it over and over and over and over again. But we do actually remember the words in a song that we've only heard once. Uh, perception is looking at things like visual illusions. So sometimes we see things in pictures that are not actually really there. Or um, if you think about uh, different cultures, they actually perceive things differently uh, to what we do in, in Western cultures. So there is a tribe um, who basically don't understand that with distance, things get smaller. So when they look up on, on a hill, um, they actually would think that the, the people, for example, if there were people stood on the top of the hill, they'd think that they were um, the size of tiny little ants, rather than understanding that distance makes people smaller. And the reason for that is because they're used to uh, sleeping um, uh, in trees and living within trees. And so they never, ever really see distance. Um, the other topic that we look at uh, in this in this is development. Now, development's looking at lots of different ways that we change our thinking as we grow older. Um, and one element of this is something called uh, egocentrism. Now, my children are two and four years of age, and so they're still egocentric. Now, all that means is that basically they don't understand the perspective of other people. So if you play hide and seek with them, they'll literally shut their eyes and think that they're invisible because they can't see you. So they think that you can't see them. So that's quite a lot of fun in our house sometimes when we're playing hide and seek. Um, and the last topic in there is, is uh, research methods, which is looking at why you can't do things like electrocute people um, or um, um, like stab people um, with pins in, in their nose to see their reaction because it would cause them distress. Um, the second unit is looking at things like social influence. Now, what I want you to do now is I want you to wave at me. OK, the question is, did you do that? Now, if you did, it means that you see me as being an authority figure. So, uh, so that means that you obeyed me. So you, you know, you do as I'm asking you to do. And there's lots of different authority figures like your parents and guardians and police uh, officers and things like that. And we tend to do what we're told to without question. Other topics in there are things like psychological problems. So you're looking at addiction and why people become addicted to drugs and alcohol and the influence of other people are on that. Um, as well as things like depression, so why people become really sad and upset and the treatments that can be used to actually help people. Um, other things in there are language and thoughts. We're looking at body language. All right. Now, um, when you use your hands and your feet and so on to indicate to people um, whether you like them, but you do it like without realising it. OK, so, you know, the one thing I will tell you, if you like the person that you're speaking to, um, make sure you you direct your feet towards them when you're talking to them because that actually um, indicates that you like them. 
Okay, so a typical psychology lesson, you might be thinking. Well, we normally do an experiment. We then analyse our results and see what we found out in our class. We then look at a psychologist's research study and see what they found and see if it's different to what we found in our class. And then we look at the psychologist study and we look to see what we can do in terms of evaluating it. So was it good? Was it bad? In what ways? You know, did it only use males? Did it only use females? Did it only use a small sample? Was it only done in one country and not other countries? Um, so you actually look to see what's bad about it. But you can also look at what's good about it. So how can you apply that to real life? You know, what is this telling us about our behaviour? Okay then, so you might be asking, well, what do I need to be good at to, to do psychology? Well, you need to be able to, to revise new words and remember lots of uh, new studies. Okay, so I've mentioned some of the types of things that some psychologists look at. Um, be willing to talk about uh, yourself and be interested in the behaviour of other people and yourself um, because, you know, the, the, topic, the, the topics that we look at are literally looking at how um, you behave and the other people around you behave. So you're actually going to be analysing people's behaviour and so on. Um, you need to have a pretty good memory because there is quite a lot of information you need to remember. Uh, you need to be pretty organised, okay, so you know you need to, to um, be able to keep on going back through some key studies and things like that. Uh, you need to work well as an individual but also be, be, be happy to work in a group kind of situation and also be interested in learning new things. Earlier, I asked you to look at the photographs of a boy. There was a boy on the left and a boy on the right, and I asked you to say which one you thought was most attractive. Well, you should have found the first boy more attractive. And the reason for that is because he's got larger pupils than the, the second boy. Now, I know they look pretty much the same, but you tend to get drawn to the man's eyes in the first one. So you actually see him as being more attractive than the second guy. Now, this is a research done by a psychologist called Hess, and this is the type of thing that we do in, in a lesson, is we'd look at these photographs, we'd look to see what everybody felt, and then we'd analyse the results. Now, this explains why advertisers tend to make um, the pictures in their, their photographs and so on, um, their eyes tend to always be bigger, so it makes you find the model really attractive. Also, that also explains why women tend to wear quite a lot of eye makeup. Okay then, so that's the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just to let you know, there's a few places you can have a little look if you want to know a little bit more about psychology. Uh, the first one is the AQA Psychology website. Um, so if you just put AQA Psychology into a search engine, then you'll find um, the GCSE specification and a little bit more about, um, about the course. Um, and another thing you could do is you could go onto YouTube and you can basically um, write in there crash course psychology videos and you'll get lots and lots and lots of videos done by a man who speaks extremely fast, even faster than me. Um, but yeah, that'll tell you a little bit more about psychology and what it's like, okay? Obviously, I'm not biased or anything, but you know, it is an interesting subject um, and it's just looking at you. Um, if you want any more um, information, then you can email me at rjones um, at gordanoschool.org.uk. Okay, thank you, take care, bye. Thank you.